Hi, welcome to True Border Online and our Life Sciences Regulatory Updates. I am Maria Varsova, the counsel at True Border Law Firm, and together we will look at the regulatory landscape formed by the end of 2017 in the Russian pharmaceutical sector. Let's start with the risk mapping. Sometimes I call it a slide with worms because the regulatory initiatives are shown in a form of fluctuations for the reference points. Compulsory licensing issue was brought again for discussions in the fourth quarter of 2017. We recommend keeping the risk monitoring and actively participating in the public debates of this instrument. Alteration of the pricing methodology governing the registration of the maximum selling prices for medicines was one of the key regulatory challenges of this year. It is reported that the stakeholders consider the possibility of amending the existing methodology rather than adopting new regulations. However, today it is not entirely clear what shape the regulatory framework will have. In fourth quarter, the MOH adopted the order which sets forth the procedure for determining the initial auction prices for medicines. Until 1st July of next year, the state purchaser must use historical prices of state tenders along with tariff and market analysis methods. Since 1st July, the state purchaser must also use a reference price calculated by the specific IT platform. In the fourth quarter, the Russian government adopted the resolution setting forth the specifics of medicines description for the purposes of state tenders, thus introducing guidelines to the medicines interchangeability in state procurement. This regulation enters into force since 1st January of 2018 and requires careful assessment of possible implications. We have recommend that the market participants do an individual risk mapping because the actual map may look different depending upon the product's profile. Meanwhile, let's look at a broader regulatory picture which may influence companies' activities in 2018. Potentially in the red zone, there are the initiatives on compulsory licensing and parallel imprints, re-registration of all maximum selling prices for medicines, and application of reference average prices in state procurement. In the yellow zone, as the possible impact strongly depends upon the regulatory practice, there are the localization initiatives, including new version of third one out, and interchangeability regulations related to the specifics of medicine's description for the purposes of state tenders. Finally, the market opportunities in 2018 may be connected with implementation of projects based on the special investment contracts, risk sharing agreements, if the relevant regulatory framework is adopted, and formation of the Eurasian Economic Union Common Market of Medicines. All the mentioned regulatory issues are very important for the pharmaceutical markets. Our risk assessment is based on the regulatory gaps and potential collisions, which may be variously construed in practice. At the same time, the picture of commercial risks may coincide with our assessment for some products and may look different for other products. Nevertheless, we will try to provide general recommendations for the purposes of strategy planning. In relation to the reference pricing and state tenders, we recommend monitoring the MOH approval of the list of equivalent pharmaceutical forms and dosages within one INN and assessing the historical prices in federal and regional tenders. As for the pricing methodology, we recommend monitoring the development of the amendments and assessing the individual product profiles from the standpoint of the possible submissions volumes. With a view to interchangeability of medicines and state tenders, we recommend assessing the current regulatory practice in the context of newly adopted rules to predict possible implications next year and drafting an individual map of regulatory risks and opportunities. In relation to intellectual property rights protection, we recommend continuing communication of the risks related to IPR restrictions to the government stakeholders and elaborating individual strategies for IPR protection in case of breaches. We hope that our regulatory analysis will be helpful for you. For more details, you can contact me via our website or via my professional profiles and social networks. Meanwhile, my colleagues and I would like to congratulate you with the upcoming holidays and wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's.